Hey guys, welcome back to Dudu's Kitchen. It's nice to have you all here again today. Yes, Dudu's Kitchen is back. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I've been very busy because we've been moving houses and it's been so so hectic. But here I am, I'm back again. And I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. And for those who have yet to subscribe to my channel, please find it in your heart. Subscribe, like, share with families and friends. I make unique dishes here and I'm sure you will learn one or two things from them. And so today I would also be making one of those unique dishes and it is called vegetable stew vegetable stew not soup so this is a unique dish to do this kitchen and it is a dish that you can um, eat with any swallow of your choice you can eat it with rice you can eat it with bread you can eat it with beans you know just name it pasta whatever you can eat it with it and it is very simple to make so i want you to please relax right now enjoy the music and Let's get started because cooking is fun. See you. So these are the ingredients that I'll be using for my vegetable stew. I have here my beef. This is the tribe. I have here baby spinach. That's my oil. Vegetable oil. You can use canola. Any oil you want to use, you can use that. These are my onions, chalots, ginger. My garlic is here. I have my thyme, curry, bay leaves, chicken seasoning, I also have my parsley, and then salt to taste, finally my chicken uh, maggi kit. So it, it isn't chicken but it's just the normal maggi kit. So let's get started and the first thing I'm going to be doing is I will be boiling my meat and the tribe so let's move there so the first thing i'm gonna do is to pour in my tribe and then my beef now i'll put my curry my thyme my maggi and seasoning now I'm going to put my maggi. So I have two cubes of maggi. I'll also put in one tablespoon of chicken seasoning and then for the salt I'm putting this is a teaspoonful of salt. Now I'm going to put my curry. So for the curry, I'm also using a teaspoon of curry. And also a teaspoon of thyme. And I'll also put the parsley, a teaspoon of parsley. And the bay leaves. Now the next thing I'm going to put is, I would put my cinnamon and also my nutmeg. So I'm using ground cinnamon and I will use half of a teaspoon 
Ó, pra cima, irmão. And for my nutmeg, I'm only putting. This is a quarter. And this is half of a quarter. So that's three quarter of a teaspoon. So the next thing I'm going to do is to mix this up. You will notice I didn't add water at all. I'm just gonna mix it up and I'll wait for the meat to bring out its water. And while I'm waiting for it to do that, I'll be blending my onions, my garlic, and also my ginger together. So now I've blended the chalot, the onions, ginger and garlic together and I want to look at the meat that I'm boiling. You see that the meat has brought out its juice. You see that? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll just pour this in. And then mix with water. Okay. Now I'll just lift this up and let it boil for like 20 minutes to 25 minutes and while this is boiling i will be blending my bell pepper tomatoes habanero pepper ginger garlic and chalot so and when i'm done blending that i'll start cooking so that it can dry up and it will be ready for my vegetable stew so see you soon so the meat should be ready now i mean the beef i'll still give it a little for the tribe to get done but i'll take out the beef and grill or broil for 20 minutes just the beef only for now and then later i'll take out the tribe and also grill you can fry it if you like but i don't like frying any of my protein i like to grill them as you all know if you've been watching my videos you would see that what i do is i grill them or broil but do not fry so now i've taken all the beef out and i have only here to try so I'm going to let the tripe boil again for um, maybe five more minutes while I grill the beef. And then I have my pepper here cooking already. Uh, you see, it's cooking already. So I'm just waiting for it to dry. And when it's thick and dry, then I would take it off the stove. Track is done, so I'll just take it out and also add it to the beef that I just brought out now, just to bring all together. So let me just switch off the gas. So I finished arranging the beef and the tri. I'll just put this in the oven again and then grill them for 
20 minutes to 25 minutes. So this is my beef broth or stock. And what I did was I removed all the particles by using my sieve to sieve it out. So all the particles are no longer there. It's only the broth or um, the stock from the beef and tripe that is there. So now I'm going to pour in my pepper. That's like a cup and half of granite oil. I'll mix this together. And I'll put a little bit of salt to taste. So I'm using half of a teaspoon of salt. Oops. So I won't pour everything. Half of a teaspoon of salt. And then for the maggi, I'll put a teaspoon of maggi. So now I want to put in my curry and also my thyme. Remember I sieve them out, I sieve the thyme out. So now I'm going to put a little more in there. For the curry I'm going to use half of a teaspoon. And for the time also, I'm using half of a teaspoon. So I'll just mix this up. And have a taste. To be sure the seasoning is perfect. Okay. I think I need to put a little bit of salt. So this is like this is one eighth of a teaspoon. And again, have a taste. It's still gonna get thick, so so now it tastes better. So I'll just close this and let it thicken. So it can take 20 minutes, it can take 25 minutes, it depends. And the next thing I'm just gonna do is to turn my tripe and the beef in the oven and be sure that it is in body so this is my meat and tripe you see how it looks you see it well done i don't fry at all i just grill see it you see the way it is really really nice so, so. so now the stew is done So the next thing I'm going to do is I will put in my baby spinach, it's been properly washed with warm water, I'll just mix this right now. Just make sure the baby spinach you're putting in 
or the vegetable any vegetable you want to use that you are putting in, in is not too much just a little and then now i put in the meat and the chop So now I just mix them together. I let it cook for maybe five more minutes. And my multi-purpose vegetable stew is ready. You see? So you can eat it with any anything and by the time it's properly done you will see the oil out on top of the steel so this is my vegetable steel see you in a few minutes i'm sure this is done right now you see Whoa. wow you see it yes it is done okay so this is ready I'll just close this right now and then push it out with rice and also swallow so we have reached the end of this cooking session this is white rice and my vegetable stew and right beside it is my gari swallow eba and also the vegetable stew isn't this lovely it looks good right and i tell you it tastes really 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 nice i can say 1000 really and 1000 nice because this show is so good so i want you to please try this at home and let's um have your comment in the comment section Thank you so much for watching till the end. I appreciate you. For those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. For those who have yet to subscribe to my channel, please find it in your heart to subscribe to my channel, like and share with families and friends. You see it? So we'll meet again next time. Please know that you only determine your happiness. Please be happy, be safe and healthy. God bless you till we meet again next time. Bye.